For those who are born with the red zodiac, well, year 2023 is going to be your ultimate comeback year. So stay tuned to find out why. So before we get started, let's take a look for the red zodiac in year 2022. So in year 2022, basically the red zodiac didn't have much auspicious star. And as a matter of fact, you are surrounded by a couple of negative stars, namely the sky dog, where you talk about easily triggered into some fighting, which can cause you some scar, blemish, injury. So it could be quite detrimental or quite you know serious injury and you're also affected by the good blade well the good blade talk about being cornered where you have to fight you have to protect yourself and this would also attract to uh, petty people backstabbers so basically these are quite uh, serious star and next is the accident star which talk about the basically it's the calamity shot which talking about you are plagued with a very unhealthy uh, uh, unhygienic kind of environment where it's quite numb during this pandemic where you'll be surrounded by a lot of negative energy and it could indirectly drain you down as well and next is the funeral guest well funeral guest style is talking about you could be potentially attend some people's uh, funeral or could be visiting uh, hospital as well so basically there's a lot of sad events that required your attention and next is the imprisonment stop well the imprisonment stop talk about some legal issue caused by some agreement the promises that you have done in the past or perhaps some quotations that you have sent out that required you to fulfill required you to deliver despite you may not really like the way you work with that client but basically you still have to fulfill so it could also talk about the legal documentations the summonses the basically uh those things that got you into trouble in the first place so it will force you to to surrender somehow in order to fulfill whatever you promise us as well so um next is the red chamber stop the red chamber talk about negative relationship it could be denoting uh, some short-term fling short-term hit and run kind of relationship short-term attraction so basically this is quite a serious star and it could cause you a lot of issue especially for those who are already uh, in a relationship or perhaps already married so this is the star that you have to pay more extra precaution so overall for the red zodiac in year 2022 it's been slightly uncomfortable and lack of support and basically this year is all about training you to be more resilient being able to uh, withstand over how you can handle circumstances because with two vicious star it was meant to remind you how to be able to stay composed staying able to uh, control your temper not to be overreact and able to assess situation before you make any decision or perhaps taking in any uh, serious decision which can lead into uh, a bad circumstances so overall that's all for the year uh, 2022 the year of water tiger for the red zodiac but nevertheless in year 2023 this is going to be your ultimate comeback year why well first of all you are being blessed with one of the ultimate positive blessing style which is known as the heavenly virtue well the heavenly virtue is also one of the most favorable star when we talk about the ability to dissolve problem when you can even uh, negate or, or reduce or perhaps even dissipate all the negative impact caused by all this inauspicious star and you are also supported with the fortune virtue which is the ultimate problem dissolving star well this star talk about it will heighten your uh, your conscious your own spirit your own energy well once you are able to have a very clear mind with such a strong energy you are able to see truth problem and able to how to detach away emotionally and that's how indirectly you can help yourself in solving all this nitty gritty kind of issue and next is the prosperity style which talk about smooth sailing while having this style it will boost your overall uh, abundance of opportunity and you no longer in the fear mode when you felt that heightened up kind of energy you feel so inspired to do more stuff well basically having this star will also in uh, attract happy events and good uh, good positive vibes which, which will subsequently attract more people 
to fight for something, for example, like uh, doing the charity, fight for a cause. And this will actually heighten up your overall energy for the year 2023 as well. So another star, which is something that we truly love, is the thriving star, which talk about the merit and excellency. Well, this basically means you will be receiving some ranking some affirmation, some some emblem, some uh, basically the badge of ranking uh, recognition. So basically, this talk about your achievement, your recognition are being rewarded, are being acknowledged. So for those corporate ladder climber, well, this is something important for you because the more ranking that you can climb up, the better you can perform. And of course, this will be rewarded in truth uh, wealth uh, uh exchange right and for those business owners perhaps it's time for you to actually gain some recognition truth like certifications in like like hscp iso which can help your business to elevate to a more accredited or more um uh recognized kind of a business entity as well so take this opportunity to grow or level up your business next you have two important relationship star first of all is the red mage maker well the red mage maker being the ultimate relationship star also means for those who are single you can potentially find your life partner but in order to do that you have to first have to really go out to to network to hang out with more friends and if your existing group of friends no longer can help you to connect with your life uh, potential life partner then you know you have to change your group of friends as well and for those who are already in relationship, well, it's time perhaps you can consider to move to the next stage. Perhaps it's also a good time for you to uh, tie the knot, seal the deal, plan your marriage this year. It's going to be a wonderful celebration. And for those who already married, well, basically it is also a good positive boost in terms of how it will actually increase uh, your the the positive vibrations and how the both of you connect with each other and being able to uh, create memorable milestone to celebrate some like anniversary and also create more meaningful uh, moments in your relationship and you are also supported with this uh, the peach blossom star which talk about the likability and attraction well, when you have intensified or increased your uh, likability, the attraction, of course, this will also make you all, make you are uh, more easily approachable and it makes uh, people to have higher tendency to easily connect with you, to talk with you. And for those who are single, I think this is very important for you, right? Especially those who keep telling people that uh, I'm shy, I'm shy. Well, this year, there's no excuse. If you really want to, to score the point, you really have to walk the talk, okay? With the Peach Blossom Star, it's going to boost you, increase your likability, attraction. So make sure you really go out to activate this, okay? And despite you have a lot of positive star, you're also surrounded by some negative star, namely the uncivilized punishment, where this talk about uh, basically you may be taken advantage of from someone who you truly trust. And in, in worst case scenario, let's say you are stuck in an unhealthy relationship, you may be being uh, abused, being, um, being used or being taken advantage of, and, and this is the person who you trusted the most. So this could actually cause you to be stuck in an unhealthy relationship because affected together with the soul people which talk about the lust and desire. So this will also intensify your intimate desire. So I hope you guys understand what I try to say here. So basically this will intensify your needs, your, your desire. So having this said, perhaps it's a good time for you to actually, you know, uh, spice up your intimate life, perhaps change location, go to somewhere new, or perhaps uh, gain, uh, buy some new experience, perhaps like toys or, or you know, any additional boost which can spice up your in, uh, intimate life. So I think overall these are quite uh, positive insights, uh, positive boost when it comes to relationship. And next is slightly sad star, which is the drips. 
the drips basically is a distraught style which talk about that you may be uh, feeling distraught of losing someone who you truly love or someone who are uh, so meaningful to you so having that said you have to really pay attention for those, especially for those who are in very um, not that healthy condition. They may be ill, but nevertheless, we will never know who may be just suddenly just leave us. So, yeah, nevertheless, pay more attention in building up your relationship with people who you truly care about. And next is the crushing shot, which talk about the entanglement. So basically, this could be some legal entanglement, the things that you promised last time that you have yet to deliver and somehow you, you are forced to deliver and you, have, you are basically forced to actually fulfill or solve all these legal issues or the things that got you here in the first place. And also you have this, uh, the curved tongue. Well, the curved tongue basically is a lot of argument dispute. Basically, some people were just easily triggered and wanted to trigger you into some argument. So make sure you are able to uh, navigate yourself away from all these petty people and activate the, all the prosperity style, heavenly virtue, and basically all the auspicious style that, that you have been given. So overall for the Red Zodiac, it's been a fabulous boost with so many auspicious stars as you can see here. So for those who have been delaying their plan, have their mind has been slightly, you know, torn apart in the year of 2022. This year, 2023, is the year of your ultimate comeback. So make sure you dig out all the plan that you have had in your mind. It's time to actually put it into action and 10x the effort. But first, you have to find out where is the red zodiac appear in your destiny chart. So we are using the Barter destiny, ch destiny chart, which is the four pillar of destiny. So if you are born in the year of red, basically you are surrounded with a lot of people who are so over overly abundant of opportunity. Because the year pillar talk about your network, the, your friends, your peers, your mentor. Well, you having this group of people surrounding you, of course, is going to help you to gain more extra boost in your endeavor. So make sure you know how to actually tap into this group of network, able to serve them and find out what kind of uh, puzzle they are actually uh, trying to, 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 to connect, you know, and being able to play the part of their missing puzzle and able to help them to complete their big picture, able to help them to actually uh, consolidate their ideas is going to be your advantage. So make sure for those who are born with the red zodiac in the year of red as well, you must be able to tap into this high net worth kind of uh, network. Okay. So check out for those who are born in the month of red. Of course, this is the ultimate pillar for you because this talk about your career, your ability to create wealth. So for those who are born in this red zodiac, you are supported with all this abundance of opportunities, all these positive vibes, ability to dissolve problem. So this year, despite there's a lot of argument, legal dispute, but nevertheless, you have the ultimate thriving star you are able to build up your reputation, lead the team and being able to dissolve most of the issue. And then subsequently, this will also turn you into becoming the undisputed. So being the indisputed person who can actually solve all these issues as well, subsequently, well, it's either you wanted to choose to become the undisputed uh, problem solver or you wanted to become the indispensable one in your company. But Nevertheless, you have all these stars supporting you, so make sure you know what you need to do. And for those who are born in with the red zodiac in their day pillar, well, this governs relationship, of course. When we talk about relationship, as I mentioned, with the red maker star, perhaps for those who are single, it's time for you to actually increase your activity to find your potential life partner and for those who are already in relationship as i mentioned it's time to actually you know seal the deal tie the knot and for those who already plan for a wedding this year well congratulations and what about for those who are already married well having the salty pool start together with the peach blossom of course this both of these will intensify your relationship, your, your lovey-dovey with more intimate um, connections as well. So hopefully this will be 
somewhat bring your relationship to the whole new level. So basically, for those who are born in the red zodiac day, it's going to be your ultimate relationship star in this year 2023. But what about for those who are born in the red hour? For those who have the red zodiac in their hour pillar, could be uh, born between 11 p.m. to uh, 12.59 or uh, before 1 in the morning, well, you may have the red zodiac. So for those who are born with the red zodiac, well, you will suddenly feel there's a burst of energy that inspired you to want to actually go out and do something for your own self because the our pillow denotes uh, it governs your aspirations your idea your inspiration your motivation it also governs your children subordinates the people you've taken care of and also your investment as well well for those who are doing investment well having the prosperity star with all the smooth sailing star it will have tendency to increase your uh, value of investment so do spot out more opportunity this year and for those who are doing full-time is investment well you have to focus back on your month pillar yeah and for those who have children perhaps uh, your children this year somehow they are more likable <laughs> and they'll be more uh, happy celebrations and they'll be more helpful to you in your overall family management and for those who are running business well the our pillar also talk about your staff people who you actually taken care of so this time perhaps it's time for for you to reward them to give them the ranking to basically give them the sense of recognition and sense of belonging in the organization that you have developed so overall for those who are born with the red zodiac this year is your ultimate come back here so make sure you really plan out all your activities and find out who can actually help you out and talking about this we uh, by the way for those who don't know that the rat actually is the best pal together with the ox zodiac so make sure you uh, you can find people who are born with the ox zodiac anywhere in their chart it's time for you to find the expert who can actually uh, help you out with their expertise because the ox zodiac are boosted with self mastery style which is the sky bright where this year their focus is more on becoming the expert in their industry so if you are planning to seek out for an expert's ex advice so you know who to find you are also supported with the three alliance which is the dragon and also the monkey which will form the tree harmony so in this sense basically the dragon this year they also are supported with one of the ultimate nobleman star which is known as the sun star and together with their turbo boosting ability this year they can actually find some mentor some advice consultant who can actually help you in uh, gaining clarity in terms of your planning in terms of how you're going to execute your ideas and together with the monkey zodiac this year the, the monkey zodiac still have a lot of supporting positive star which is helping the tree harmony this tree alliance to work to carry out uh, the execution and able to materialize the dream project they have been holding on since year 2022 so of course this is the ultimate alliance that you have to form and by the way you do have to take note over this kind of month like the the best month that you should be doing more is the january april and august and the month you have to look out for potential of issue is the march june or september for more details about what is going to happen do check out my website my blog where i have already put up a lot of information and guide with monthly forecast be it with Baza, and Feng Shui and, and Yi Jing and, and many other Chinese metaphysics tools as well. So do check out my website because that's the only place where I can constantly update with more new finding, with more new guidelines and a lot of monthly forecast information to help you in navigate your year 2023 smooth and going to be more exciting. So nevertheless, despite we have already covered most of the pros and cons for the red zodiac and i have even provided you with the cheat sheet the list uh, in this form where you can discover the positive boost and also the pullback factor which can actually you know the something that can actually hold you down or hold you back as well so having a lot of stuff that is boosting you for the red zodiac 
So I hope you are able to take advantage of all this auspicious stuff. So that's all from me, John of Lee from Renergy. So please do hit like and subscribe to my channel because I will be providing more insights and more forecasts and more stuff to help you in hacking your life year 2023. Once again, hit like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be seeing you very soon.